Hello there. Uh, so today I'm in County Kerry, uh, just outside Killarney, and today's hike is Mangerton, which you can see behind me there. Um, just waiting on a few people to arrive, a couple of friends, and we're going to get walking. It's very cold, it's February, we've just had a couple of storms, and a uh, bit of snow, which I think the rain yesterday took that off the top of the mountains, there's just a wee bit left. So it should be a nice hike. And then tonight I'm going to camp somewhere, I'm thinking maybe Valencia Island or uh, somewhere by a lake that's over there, Loch Gitan. Pronouncing that wrong, I think, but uh, as you know by now, get used to that. I pronounce, I don't know how to pronounce anything. Uh, and after, after camping tonight, I plan to hike up Loch Dober tomorrow. Um, and then that's my day. Now it's going to be quite windy tonight and very windy in the morning. So if not going to dobber, not going to dobber or tobber, not going to dobber. Uh, if it's going to be really, 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 really windy doing that one, I'm going to do a different one called Cairn Keen, which is back more towards Cork, towards the Cork and Kerry border. Um, but all these mountains are in the 100 highest in Ireland list. And I'll just be skipping the knock and a dubber one for safety because it's it says there's going to be a very strong southerly wind. If I can approach it from the north, I will, so the mountain will block that wind. But if it's going to be so, so, so windy that it's not safe, I'm not going to do it. And the one further towards Cork, the weather forecast is okay. So look, I'm not going to say much more. My guys are going to be with me very soon. I'll put a link below in the description for where I've parked my car here. There's a few other cars here, no people. And, as always, if there's anything strange or exciting or worth clicking the camera back on for, I will do so. Otherwise, that's going to be it. That's going to be it till I'm near the top. All right. Very cold day, but a beautiful day. <laughs> you guys lied to me. Got a lovely view looking back towards Killarney there now. You can see that. There's Mangerton there. There's my lads up ahead. You can see over there, sticking out his Tark Mountain. You can see all the way over there to Killarney. Muckers Lake and Killarney. Really nice day. And as I've said on a few videos before, it's the bad days, the foggy days, the misty days. They're the ones that make the nice ones even more worthwhile. And this is thoroughly enjoying so far. And it's a very straightforward path. Uh, the route I'm following is on all trails. And there's a few others, they're all over the place. View Ranger has one, Outdoor Active had one, have one. And the path is pretty straightforward there. Real easy to follow so far. So, this time I will leave the camera off till I'm very near the top. Soon. <laughs> Get one of them. So you can, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> again, again, again. <laughs> again. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> All right, we're nearly there now. Very windy, so I've got my furry mic on. And very, very cold, but that's all right. 
Strap on those boots, soldier. So still looking out over the lakes there. If you can see Tark Mountain. Tark Mountain here. All those mountains to go right on out. Right on out to Caron Tool, but I can see it here, but I know you won't see it on the camera, so I'm not gonna even bother trying to point it out. Okay. There we got Mangerton. Just coming up. And I know that just below there is the lake. The lake known as the Devil's Punch Bowl. My furry thing keeps moving. So I'll turn it on when I can see the lake just to give a view. And then I'll turn it on again at the top. And then that'll be another walk done, won't it? So. Here we go, the top of Mangerton. How was it lads? Yeah, cold? Very windy and very cold, but a lovely walk. Uh, the path is easy the whole way up. For safety reasons, we're just going to go back down the path we came up to go into full horseshoe. Uh, the way down would be a bit steep, and we could see as we were coming up that there's a lot of uh, frozen waterfall type things, water flows that are frozen, and we'd be going straight into that. And uh, slips are easy, so uh, Jesus, look at them clouds coming in there now full of snow. So we're gonna head back down. Uh, I will maybe turn this back on at the car just to sign off for this, or I might turn it back on when I'm getting to my camping spot. I think I'm gonna go to Valencia, Valencia Island. Beautiful up here. Unreal. Right, so look, Mangerton, Ireland's 10th highest mountain on my 100th high, highest list, 838 meters. And we're nearly done. I'm gonna say you give this walk five hours at a handy pace. We stopped for plenty of breaks and we stopped by the lake for a long time. Uh, we kind of meandered our way up. The path you're following, just to categorize it, the path you're following is simple. Very clear. Once you get out of your car, you're walking on this type of path. Once you go off the tarmac road, you're walking on this type of path. And the path is like that, right to the top. Just be careful that you don't have a couple of false dawns at the top when you think you're at the trig point for Mangerton. There is a few cairns, those stacks of rocks on the top, which will make you think you're at the exact top, but you're not. So seek out that trig point, check a map, check a GPS. Uh, to put this mountain in a category, <clears throat> if you're a brand new hill walker and you've never done a walk before and you don't know what you're doing, you're a complete novice, don't do this one on your own. If you do it as your first hike ever with someone that has experience, it's gonna be strenuous, maybe not the most enjoyable for your body and your fitness. 
but the views will be uh, so rewarding that you'll definitely get bitten by the bug. So if you're a complete novice, don't do this unless you do it with someone who knows what they're doing or people who are experienced and have done it before. If you do have a lot of experience, this is a fantastic walk. Uh, I didn't need to check. I checked, uh, I just kind of clicked on my phone every now and again just to make sure that we were not veering off left or right and we weren't. It's very simple to navigate on a clear day as today is. Cold and windy but very clear the whole way. Uh, on a not so clear day you'll have to have your navigation skills buddy because once you start getting a tiny bit lost it goes nuclear very quick and you can find yourself very very lost very quick so the map compass as a backup to your gps and i'm not talking about your phone either i'm talking about a proper gps like the garmin dakota 20. <laughs> um, so that's all i want to say and if you've millions and millions and millions of walks of experience you know the crack so the next time you'll see me i will be showing you my camping spot it's gonna be i believe brayhead lookout tower on valencia island now when i get there that might not be a great location choice but looking at the map it looks like a fantastically wild choice on the absolute edge of europe uh, Well, as things turned out, a storm came in when I got to Valencia Island and uh, the forecast was going to be really, really windy the next day as well for my hike um, up Knocknatobber. So I decided not to do either. I didn't camp and I didn't do a hike the next day. Uh, my van is set up for sleeping in, so I slept in my van uh, in um, Kinmare at Kinmare Pier and it was... Lovely in the car, very stormy outside, and I've left those hikes till the next day. So instead of all that, you get to watch these guys here having a bit of crack in the snow. And here's here's a grown-up doing a front flip. <laughs> Anywho, all right. Hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, on to the next one. Go home, go home, go home.